You know what will massively improve your mental health and it's something that I'm still working on on a daily basis is to quit wasting time and energy arguing with idiots. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what we try to do here is try to learn together different ways to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. All right? So yeah, like like I said, like this, this is something major, okay? Like I will tell you this, I would not be alive today if I did not figure out how to take criticism. Like I, I was in my drug addiction for uh, almost a decade and it was because I refused to change. Nobody could tell me what to do. I felt like I knew what was best, right? Like you don't know me, I know me, right? Why am I gonna do this, 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 right? And you know, when I finally got to this, um, point of surrender, uh, we often call it the gift of desperation, I finally just threw my hands up in the air and said, I have no clue what I'm doing. Please help me figure out how to do this and how to live, right? So it's so important that we take in different thoughts, ideas, criticisms, and everything like that. But at a certain point, we have to separate what is you know, uh, meant to be constructive and help us become better people. And what is people just being dicks or talking trash or they have no solution? Because like, here's what we all have to realize. There are people out there and I hate to break it to you. This might be a little known secret, but there are people out there who are just doing nothing but whining and complaining and have no solutions. So anyways, I want to start this video out with a little bit of a story. I just finished this great book called Moral Tribes, right? And there's a story in there. Um, I forgot who uh, the professor was, right? But it's this like great professor, intellectual. I think he, you know, does debates and writes, you know, papers and everything like that. And some jackass was challenging him to a debate. And this jackass was a Holocaust denier. All right, one of those people who denies that the Holocaust happened and he kept trying to get this guy to debate him, right? He kept trying to get the professor to debate him and he's writing him letters and he's like, what, you scared? You scared? Why don't you debate me? You're Mr. Smart Science, man. Why don't you debate me? Let's debate and argue the Holocaust, right? So finally, the professor gets back to him and he says, I'll make you a deal, all right? He says, I will debate with you about whether or not the Holocaust happened if we do a series of three debates, all right? The first debate we're gonna do is over the existence of Santa Claus. The second debate that we're gonna do is whether or not the earth is flat. After that, we'll debate whether or not the Holocaust actually happened. And what ended up happening was the jackass, the Holocaust denier, ended up backing off and leaving him alone. And do you know why that strategy worked? because the professor was basically making a statement and saying, I'm not gonna waste my time arguing with you over something that is stupid and a waste of my time. And this is something that I think all of us can learn from because like, how much time do we waste on these things? And this is something that I'm trying to learn as well so I can make this channel better and provide more value to you. Like I, I in my video where I talked about I wasted the last six months of my life, like I wasted six months of my life just trying to change people's opinions who, who will never change, right? This waste of time and energy and so many of us do this. But what actually inspired this video this morning was um, there's there's a channel called Optimus and no hate towards uh, towards him like I this is more of a criticism if you will um, but I I was you know watching his stuff because recently there was some stuff going on in the YouTube community about these things called P scores because YouTube kind of they're not as transparent as they could be with us creators but anyways I was checking out this guy Optimus's channel and he uh, you know 
he, he makes a lot of different videos and does a lot of commentary and stuff. But anyways, one of his most popular videos was about game theory, the channel run by MatPat, right? And like, I, I'm on the fence about MatPat. I don't love him or hate him. Like, I think he's a cool dude and stuff, but I haven't been like following him for years like other people have. So anyways, one of the, the most viewed videos on Optimus's channel was like, game theory, you know, something like criticizing him, right? And the video started off pretty good. I was interested to see where it was going. Like, I was like, okay, because since I don't follow, you know, game theory or film theory forever, like I wanna see what other people have seen like through the transition, right? So it started out good and it was talking about something that a lot of creators do, which is, you know, with, uh, the way monetization works and everything like that. They try to stretch videos to 10 minutes and the video started off very strong. Great arguments, great criticisms, right? Where it was basically saying that he felt like game theory was trying to stretch their videos to 10 minutes just to hit that mark, you know what I mean? But it also helps with the algorithm and increasing watch time and all these other things, right? Like it started off as a strong video, but then I got to this part and let me play the full clip to give you some context. May I add that Matt Pat was also criticized during an Ask Me Anything he did over on Reddit. And when this happened, no matter how many upvotes it had, no matter how popular the response was to Matt Pat's questions, if you criticized Matt Pat, he was not going to respond to you. He basically just acted like your question didn't exist, even though you could ask him anything if you asked him, say, why he was such a sellout, which somebody actually did and it ended up being the most upvoted post on the entire AMA, he just wasn't gonna respond to you. That's how he responds to criticism. And I'm sitting there and I'm just like, what? Like, like seriously? Um, that's, that's not a criticism. And this is something that we all need to acknowledge. Like the question, why are you such a sellout? That is not a criticism. You know what I mean? And the more we kind of sell the idea that something like that is a criticism, the more people like me and you are gonna waste our time. Like here, here's a good rule of thumb for criticisms, all right? Like I said, his video started off strong. Like, hey, I think that you're kind of like adding on to this video some unnecessary things. Uh, like I, I do uh, writing and sometimes we call that fluff, you know, and just kind of things that don't really add to the content. Like it started off good, but a rule of thumb for criticism, all right, is do they offer a solution or could they offer a solution, right? So go back to that comment. Why are you such a sellout? Like there's no solution in there. And if you look at it, what do they mean? What, what solution could I even infer from why are you such a sellout? Right, like what does that mean? Does it mean that you should still, you know, be independent and not like work with big brands or get as popular? Should you stay under the scenes, you know, and whatever? Like should I, you not, you know, progress and make money? Like what is it? What is it? Or is a person, you know, making goofy content or have they like started censoring their stuff more? Like what does that mean? But just the, the, the question, why are you such a sellout? That is not a criticism. So why does this matter to you? Why does this matter to you, the viewer? Well, it is currently October 30th. We have entered holiday season, all right? Coming up, you're gonna have Thanksgiving, you're gonna have Christmas, and you're gonna be around family members. Some of us have crazy family members, right? And you're gonna have people who are sitting there around the Thanksgiving table or whatever, and they're gonna be criticizing you. And if you get upset, they're gonna talk about how you can't take criticism, right? But we need to look at this and say, are they actually criticizing you? Like, if they say, Stephanie, you know, uh, you're like, uh, you, you, all you do is date idiots, right? Like, if they're just talking shit to you, they're not criticizing you. Or they tell you that you're wasting your life because they think that the job you picked isn't the right one. Like, is that a criticism or is that an opinion, right? But there are many other examples. So here's another example, okay? So my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, over here, just sitting there looking amazing, she, uh, is an artist, right? Now, she does amazing art. Here's some of her art. Now, imagine if somebody came up to her and was like, you know what, Tristan, you shouldn't be drawing this stuff. You should be drawing a pizza jumping out of an airplane on its 24th birthday. That's what you should do. And what if Tristan was like, well, I don't wanna do that. And then imagine that person saying, you just can't take criticism. Like, do you know how silly that sounds, right? Or Maybe you're in an industry where, you know, you're creative in another way. Like picture like a chef, 
all right? A chef brings out a dish to two people, okay? And one person says, huh, this is good, but I can it could use some more salt, right? Criticism, solution, right? And then the other person says, your face looks stupid. Do you see the difference between those two? So in order to improve and grow, we need to take a look at what information is coming in and is that something we should be paying attention to or is it just a colossal waste of our time, right? Because like I said, especially when it comes to the internet, but this is in life in general, right? There are people out there who are miserable and all they do is complain and they offer no solutions. Like, I used to be that person. I used to be such a miserable ass. And all I did was whine and complain. Like one of the reasons I start every video with, we talk about the problem but focus on the solution is because I used to just sit in the problem. That's all I used to do. And I would just sit there whining and complaining, this should be this way, this should be this way, that, 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 because I was miserable. So I see other people who are like how I used to be, and I'm like, you are not offering a solution. And I empathize with them. I empathize and I'm just like, okay, right? Like, because something that I used to do was, I used to just think the whole world should be exactly the way I wanted it to, right? I just thought everything should be the way I like it, my preferences, my opinions are all that matters. You know what I mean? And then I was like, wait, I'm kind of a self-centered dick. The whole world doesn't revolve around me. You know what I mean? Like if I dislike something and it's not changing, right? And it's just my preference or it's my opinion, I'm not gonna keep trying to force this thing to change. I'm gonna walk away and leave. So you know what? Like this video, we just, we gave you double the value. So the first lesson is don't argue with idiots. The second one is if you're like how I used to be, like learn what your own criticisms are or are they opinions or are they preferences? You know what I mean? Like I don't like seafood. Well, I'm actually a vegetarian now, but anyways, like could you imagine me just keep telling a restaurant to stop serving seafood because I don't like it? Like what? You know what I'm saying? So anyways, I wanna do more videos like this with just little topics, little tidbits, little little sprinkles of little mental health advice. Um, like I said in my video yesterday, I, I, plan, I plan on dedicating every day in November to a writing challenge and writing blogs and everything like that. But I'm gonna try to do videos like this where I just hop in, do some mental health advice, things that I'm working on, things that I think that might be able to benefit you and things like that. Um, these videos don't get as many views that's cool. Like those of you who watch this and you get some benefit, like maybe, maybe today you needed to hear to quit wasting your time arguing with idiots. You know what I mean? But I'm here for you, baby. That's how I roll. All right. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon or buying my mental health books or merch, all that good stuff. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.